Well, hi there, YouTube and makers, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have a very big unboxing. And as you've no checked, no doubtly checked from the title, you know that I have finally bit the bullet and made a decision on a mill. After doing a lot of research, purchase this item. So, let's see what we got here. And we have packing cables. Lots and lots of packing Sureline Vertical Mill, the 5800 inch mall. That is the mill that I have set up on. Let's open this guy up. And again, I chose this one because I well, sorry, I'm just trying not to damage anything underneath. Sure, some experienced guys are going like, ah, oh, don't do that. You're gonna injure yourself. But it's not Christmas time, and I feel like a kid at Christmas. And we have more packing peanuts. More packing peanuts. Well, at least they take care to make sure that their item arrives safe to you. It is 60 pounds, so I know UPS guys have it hard, but it's and it's tough moving stuff around. So the nice thing about the 5800 pet is that it comes with a tooling plate, which is here. So it's not marked. I really like this tooling plate. I'm gonna be very careful with this. I do not want to damage it before even getting to use it or mount it. So the tooling plate, here we go. Um, the tooling plate, which is part number or PN 3562. So it comes with an assortment of T-nuts and pins. Oh, that's pretty. It is a pretty piece of wood. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So that will attach to the mill table. Gosh, I hope I'm like terrified I'm going to drop it. Beautiful piece. I don't know if it's anodized or in the raw. If this is like a clear coat anodizing or not. I'll look it up. If I can find out, I'll put the answer somewhere on the screen. So of course, underneath that tooling plate we have more packing peanuts, many more packing peanuts, and another box. And it's heavy, like hernia inducing heavy. Well, not really. Um, it is unmarked. So, let's find out. Oh, and if you're noticing me using a different knife, that's because my other knife while manhandling all this stuff fell back behind and I can't get to it until all this is done and moved. So, luckily, I had a spare. To be perfectly honest, this one's quite a bit sharper. And in this box, we have Packing peanuts. Something wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's see what we have. This thing is a little bit messy. It's a little bit messy. It's a little bit messy. 
very nice little package. It's got a place to oil right there. It's nice. A little oil cup. So well, you can see that laser engraving on the table. Here's the key to lock it in. There's more beautiful laser engraving right there. I guess I could show you this top part. Same hand. Oh no, this is a bigger handle than on the. I think it's a bigger. No, maybe no. It's the same handle on the end of the way. There you go. That is the vertical. I believe that's the milling column, and the uh, motor is gonna sit right on there. Oh, here's more. Wow, nice and very nice engraving. Laser engraving and sanitizing. So if it's not clear, I'll be sure to put an up close and personal video or picture, zoomed in picture of these parts. So let's see what else we have. It's a white unmarked box here. Uh, the boxes look like they're getting bigger, but I'm only maybe down a quarter of the depth. So I feel like there's a, quite a few more parts to this than the layer. So we have in here, oh, the mill column, right? I believe it is aluminum, but boy, it is heavy. Yeah, it's aluminum. Nicely anodized aluminum, nice and heavy here. Seems very stout. Some parts which have an idea what they go to and what they go for, but not sure. It's like a sort of disc. But again, I'll be kind of covering all this later on in a more detailed assembly video. Underneath the column, there is another box which is. It says on the top here, handwritten, no PNs. It just says um, belt guard inside. Ah, looks like we have some books. Oops, oops. I don't feel like these came with. Oh, uh, maybe they did come with. Um, using the Sherline Gib removal tool. So we have uh, metric decimal equivalents, tap drill sizes. Let's see what fell. Um, decimal equivalents and tap drill sizes. So a couple of nice little charts. Well, I'm actually going to put this in my toolbox. Uh, we have a tool and accessory catalog for their CNC ball screw machines, which I believe came with my blade. The assembly guide and instructions. Oh, I bet you this is a motor assembly. I feel like this is how the lathe came. So it's probably the same similar motor assembly. We have this white plain box. Yep, this is just like the lathe. I remember the lathe, I was wondering what the heck HH stood for. I still don't know. So if anyone knows, please comment below. If you have any idea what Sherline means by HH, I would like to know on their box. So this is the um, Rio Stamp controller. So this would be the Muta. Nicely packaged, a couple of little pieces of scrap wood to keep it safe and secure. Their Hill House, oh, I bet you it stands for Hill House Products. Quality Motors and Control, San Clemente, California. The Hill House Products Motor. I feel like I might have said that. Belt guard. So, 
either is a chuck key, and based on its shape, I can tell you it's probably a chuck key. A chuck key. A drill chuck. So it is slightly different packaging than the lane. So yeah, nice. Ooh, made in Japan. Drill check. So it's not made in China. It's a nice wall. It's very nice quality. Let me feel that. Nice. Japanese made. Drill check. That is nice. That's very nice. That is very nice. Very nice drill check. In Japan. Um, we have a small parts bag. Which has the belts and right ang uh, angle bracket and some screws and more hex keys. More and more hex keys. And this plastic thing is the Gib removal tool. And this, I don't recall any later. Ah, yes, this was not in my life. This is Shearline Products, serial number. Looks like SP9. So this is probably specific to my mill. So this is the mill comp. Yep. Next gen model. 5800 mill comp. So that is very different. Very different. And I'm looking over at my lid. Very different than the one that comes with the lid. Beautiful, well made. There, I don't, you can't really see it, but there's some uh, markings down here. Laid, oh, here they are. So there's some laser engraved markings for changing the mill head angle. So if it doesn't come out in the video, I'll post a picture. And a draw bar. Well, there are a lot more packing pans, but there is a fairly stout piece of wood. Feels loose. I just dumped a bunch of peanuts in here. Uh, there's already one. Of the heart of the shirt line metal, the cross line. It seems like it's gonna be a decent assembly. Might actually be a little bit easier than the laid over there because the cross side stable is already on it. Well folks, this is it. The Sherline 5800 mil package A. Perfect complement to go along with my Sherline 4400 or 4400 model laid package C. I'm really happy and excited to have this and it was a great opportunity for me to purchase it. And again, um, my big decision came down to the fact that I had been to the Sherline showroom, been able to utilize it and check out the machine personally a few years ago. But uh, it is a beautiful, from what I can see here, it is beautifully made. Every single part looks like it was carefully made and a lot of care went into it and wonderful, beautiful finish. I'm really excited to be able to have this and to share it with you and to be able to begin incorporating this fantastic machine in my build of the Kozo Hero Cup Pennsylvania 83 Switcher Steam Locomotive Engine 040 layout in 3 quarter inch scale to run on 3.5 inch gauge track. I'm really excited to show it to you so be sure to hit that bell notification as well as the subscribe button actually that's reverse hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that whenever those videos post you're alerted and that you don't miss a single update i'm glad you were able to be here with me for this and uh, i know initially i said i was gonna unbox all these but this video is getting kind of uh, long in the tube so i'm either going to unbox all these in a separate video so this is all the package stuff, this and that. Or I'll unbox all these and show you 
it as I yeah, also assemble the mill. So it depends on how long and how complicated it is to assemble the mill. Reading the instructions before I even opened this box and got it, it's kind of confusing. But now that I've, I see this stuff out here, I'm like, okay, this is doable, this makes sense. So I don't imagine the mill assembly is gonna to take too long. Now, tramming it in and setting it up, that might take a bit of doing. So, kind of see how that video goes, but I'll definitely show you all this contents here. So, again, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and sharing it with me. I'm glad to be able to share this with you and I'm really excited and looking forward to showing you my make. Uh, if you'd like to find out more information about the Sherline lathe or the Sherline mill, be sure to check out the eBay links below. They have pretty good information and it's the retailers that I had gotten it from. I don't work with them, they don't pay me anything. So this is all purchased with my own money and after years of careful study, research, and deep contemplative thought and internal pontification, this is kind of the decision I came up with that would best work with my situation and my circumstance. And hopefully it'll work for, uh, if you're doing this researching, finding out what you're looking for, and hopefully this will give you some information to help you make your decision on your own makes in your own home, home small machine shop. Thanks again for sharing this with me. I look forward to our future videos. Have fun, stay safe, and keep making chips. Thank you.